Hi everyone, Jeffrey Hyman is my name. I'm the chef de cuisine here at Locale Market. Uh, today we're going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can make uh, extremely tender, succulent, fall off the bone, baby back ribs at home. So as you can see, we have our uh, rack of baby backs right here. Now, this comes from uh, the top portion of the rib, uh, the rib cage, in between the spine and the spare ribs. Now, traditionally speaking, uh, rack will be anywhere between 10 and 13 bones. This one happens to be 10 bones. Uh, anything less than that, and that's what uh, butchers call a cheater's rack, um, which of course you won't find anywhere in the market here. Uh, one of the things that you want to be sure and do right off the bat is peel away this membrane. So it's very easy. You can just start at one of the corners, sort of work your fingers underneath, and then it slowly starts to peel away. Now this is something that you want to be sure and remove um, no matter how long you cook it, uh, you know, no matter how long you chew it, it's not really going to break down. So it's not a desirable part of the rib. So the dry rub, uh, as you can see here, this consists of uh, brown sugar, salt, black pepper, there's mustard powder, chili flakes, cumin, as well as cayenne. Um, it's you know just a straightforward dry rub, super duper yummy. We also offer it uh, for sale on the market floor. Um, in addition, we have baby backs already rubbed for sale down there as well. You know, you can be a little bit liberal whenever you're dry rubbing your ribs. So next I'm going to wrap these in both cellophane and tin foil and then I'm going to let them sit. Uh, generally we like to let them sit for between 12 hours and 24 hours. Uh, these are going to go in to the oven in about uh, 18 hours or so. So the reason that you want to do this is A, it's going to uh, help seal in moisture and um, you know retain all of the delicious juice and flavor that this is going to release in the cooking process. Um, this as well is going to help protect the ribs whenever we're cooking them uh, so they don't get scorched. Now we're going to let this rest again for anywhere between 12 and 24 hours. And then tomorrow we're going to pop them in a 225 degree oven for roughly three hours. You know, the great rule of thumb is uh, slow and low whenever you're cooking barbecue. So that's it for this portion. Tomorrow morning uh, you'll be able to see us pull these out of the oven and we'll be ready to go. How about that? These are ready to go just as is. There are a couple different things that you can do with them. Um, what I like to do is just flip them over and if we've cooked them right we can just pull the bones right out. Alright so what I've done is I've taken those ribs after we removed the bone. I chilled them so they would kind of set a little bit better so they would hold together when they're on the grill. So as you can see here, we've just got them on our wood fire grill. Uh, you know, nice little char ready to go, right? So again, with that rib rub, um, these are delicious as is, or uh, I prefer them with a little barbecue sauce myself. All right, guys, that's about the size of it. Now you have perfectly tender, delectable, delicious baby back ribs ready to go. Enjoy.